All right, so this is a video series, and I'm going to use this video series to talk through how to solve the Rubik's Cube, um, and it's going to be in different parts, and the first part is going to be, obviously, the, the first step of solving the Rubik's Cube, and there's different methods that you can use to solve the Rubik's Cube, and I'll probably make some other videos that will outline some of the different uh, methods, but um, this is really the first step. So the first step, you're going to choose a color that is going to be your top color, and, and I would encourage you to choose white. White is the color that I use, um, and the first thing we're going to do is, is make a cross, um, on the top, whatever your, your top face is. So when I mean uh, cross, basically I want all of these sort of five pieces to be um, white. And then also the, um, the sides, they need to be the right colors as well. So here I've got this piece is, is white on the top, um, but this orange does not match with this red piece here. So um, just getting oriented with the, the Rubik's Cube, the pieces in the middle, they don't actually move. These pieces in the middle, the white will always be opposite the yellow. Right, so white here, yellow here. The green will always be opposite the blue, and the orange will always be opposite the red. So these middle pieces don't move. So this piece right here, it will have to be in this position when we actually end up solving the Rubik's Cube. So we'll have white here and orange here. So this piece, that's where it belongs. Now I can see this piece here. I've got white and blue. If I turn this face, that's going to put that piece in the, in the correct spot, essentially, um, for my, my cross. So again, I want to make a cross here with the, the white up and then make sure that these pieces are in the, in the correct orientations. If they're not, then we need to sort of start over and make sure that we end up with um, them in the correct orientation. So now I see this piece here. This is going to be my next piece that I sort of want to put into place. And really I want to end up with this piece right here. And there's lots of different ways that we can actually do this um, to move this piece into this, this spot here. Um, the first way I might show you would be to turn this face down so remember, I want to put it here and then turn this bottom face so that the red is lined up. Now all I need to do is turn this all the way over and that will put that piece sort of where I want it in, in that spot. Um, you know, like I said, there's, there's a number of different ways. Another way that we could do it, so I'm just going to sort of undo what I did before. So now I'm, we're in that same spot that we were before. Another way that we can do this, it's a little simpler, is I know that this piece needs to be opposite of this piece, right? So I've got orange here and I want it to be here. So if I turn the top face this way and then turn this face, now I've put it in that correct spot. My colors here, they're, they're right now messed up, but really it's what's, what matters is the orientation. If I turn this back, now I can see that, oh yeah, everything is still, you know, still where it should be. So as you're solving it, it doesn't necessarily matter if it's, you know, like this, for instance, you know, these are all wrong, but the or relative orientations to one another, they're still correct. So then my last piece, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. So here's the last piece that needs to go right here. So again, a number of different ways that we can do this. How I would do this is I would turn this whole face so that this is now sort of on this side. And then I know that this piece needs to go here. So I'm gonna turn the top face and then put this in, a, in its correct sort of orientation. I can turn the, the top face again. And so now I have my cross. So these are actually you know, sort of in place as well. We don't care about those at this point in time. All we're, so I'm just gonna get rid of those real quick. All we're really concerned about is that we've got this cross. So this is my cross. And that each of the side pieces are the same. So I've got blue, red, green, orange. So that's the, that's the first step. So that's part one, and I'll talk to you in part two.